We will start with an already open project. It is one of the IDE template projects that uses the PLC Open Motion Engine with programming code done with Freeform Ladder or FFLD. Over on the IDE's left side in the project view window is the dictionary tab. Within the dictionary tab are the user variables in the project. When a new project template is opened, the dictionary contains variables that support the features within the template. Variables have a range of use or scope. Scope options are global variables, which can be used in any program or subprogram in the project. Retain variables. These are also global variables in which the latest value is saved when the controller is turned off, and local variables that pertain to a particular program or UDFB in the project. Two ways to add variables to the dictionary are in a program or control panel editor or directly in the dictionary. A new variable move complete will be created in the editor for one of the programs in the project. A program editor is opened by clicking on the Project Explorer tab, then opening up the program section, then double clicking on the desired program to open it. In the editor, I will scroll down to one of the program's relative moves and create a new variable, Move Complete, to indicate the state of the relative moves function blocks done output. Double clicking on the output coil opens a dialog box to create the variable or select an existing one already defined in the dictionary. In FFLD, the entry box already selects the required variable type and the default scope is local. If the scope needs to be changed to make the variable accessible outside of this particular program, select the down arrow and change the scope from the default local program to global or retain. An optional description will also be added. Note that the variable has been added to the dictionary. Variables can also be created directly in the dictionary. Let's say variables named A1 Axel and A1 D cell need to be added as local variables to the program main. To add, right click in the dictionary in the section defining the local variables to the main program and select Add Variable. A Create Variable dialog box comes up with a number of fields, name, type, and description are the same fields as when creating the variable from the program editor. There is also the init value field used to specifying a starting value for a variable when the project starts up. Note, in, in the FFLD editor, the needed data types of a function block are displayed when clicking on the function block or moving the mouse over it in the editor. A1 Axel and A1 D cell are dimensioned as L reals because that is the data type the motion function block requires.
A1 axel and A1 decel will now be used to define the acceleration and deceleration inputs of the gear in two function block. The acceleration input will be changed by right clicking on the field and selecting the new variable A1 axel. The deceleration will be changed in another way by dragging and dropping from the dictionary to the editor. When downloading and running the project, the IDE starts up in debug mode, displaying the present variable values in the dictionary and also in the editor. A variable can be changed in the dictionary or directly in the editor, and the new value will immediately take effect and is reflected in both the editor and the dictionary.